What up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another daily review and this one is to that Troy Ave Appreciate Me. And this is a song off his upcoming album Rolling Collins, which is very interesting man. And I read about it specifically that they didn't want him to do music as they got him out on bail and everything man. But ultimately it's unjust for them to say anything like that. He should be able to make music when he gets out. But overall the type of song that I was ultimately anticipating him trying to get those emotions and everything out on wax that he's ultimately going through with this court case. And which this appreciation that he's speaking of, he had three different versions of it for each first man. And the first verse is his baby mama need to appreciate him because he did a whole lot of things for her and she ultimately going to be sideways to him. Second verse is probably more geared towards what's happening with him now where he's saying he's the one who was always keeping it real with you talking about the things and how he came up and ultimately talking about how he came up in the drug game and he never lied to anybody. And the third verse, he's ultimately rapping about his appreciation for his aunt that passed the way and such. Expect much more of the deeper theme coming from him because whenever you go through these kind of issues, man, you ultimately have to get that out on wax so you can get something out of it, man. Like, why take that L in real life and you not get any kind of record sales from it? And honestly, he does have enough talent to be able to create classic songs with these amount of issues, but yet he would have to go back to who he once was instead of kicking out this music that he's constantly been doing. Overall, this particular track was alright. I wouldn't even listen to it more than once though man after you get the understanding of what he's doing but this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer dude with swag before we take some of your questions <laughs> about the whole Drake situation that's going on with Hot 97 where he's ultimately coming out dissing them and everything. Isaiah is pretty much like, man, that's weak because Hot 97 is pretty much where he got his career started. Like, a lot of those people, they went out of the way to play his stuff. And you know, I feel that to a degree, but ultimately, man, you can't remain loyal to these corporations and stuff, dude. Just because you got started there doesn't mean that they passed up on his music before he was getting promoted by Jay Prince and all of that. Like, these corporations really don't play no Nobody off the love and stuff, man. Like those days been gone before Drake even came into the game. So honestly, it is what it is. It's on some what have you done for me lately type stuff, and I kind of feel Drake on that. And Luffy says that she loved the Suicide Squad band, even though all of the critics then slammed it so hard. And you know what? I recently went out and watched it yesterday, man. And you know what? It wasn't that bad of a movie. Like it wasn't phenomenal, but it wasn't. Terrible either. Like, if you're gonna go into this movie, man, you only really gonna like Viola Davis, you're gonna like Will Smith, you're gonna like Margaret Robbie. The rest of them are merely just afterthoughts. And that's something that I really hate because Suicide Squad is a team, but yet they put everything behind these individuals. Like, the only superhero team movie that has ever been done right was ultimately the Avengers and such because each individual had their own movie going first. Movies like Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad, they rushed into it way too fast. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.